Alright, after spending a lifetime trying to find all these bloody nobles to talk to for this stupid quest, which I love by the way, it's a great quest. I think I found the last person in this army. If I go to talk to other members, <gasps> I've got two to talk to. Yes. Alright, my name is Eskunor, blah 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 blah. <gasps> yes! Sorry, I'm skipping the dialogue. I don't care. Yes, it's over. So for those who don't know, this quest is quite important um, because you can't really do much unless you complete this quest. So in the last episode, I asked you guys to, you know, give me some companion ideas. I installed a mod which would let me customize companions and it's been a slight problem. The game's actually updated twice since episode one, which is insane because I feel like the game is barely updated in the last four months where I haven't been playing and suddenly in a week, it updates twice. One of them being 12 gigabytes worth of update, which is quite a lot. And um, the mod is no longer working until it gets updated. So yeah, I do want to say thank you. Your, your companion ideas are pretty fucking cool. And I will add them when I can. And here's my party for now. As you can see, I have uh, your boy is upgraded. He's looking, oh, he's looking good. Um, here's my companions. Um, there's my brother. And all them, cool. And my army is pretty small. It's only 44. Cause I, exactly, this is all I can have. And yeah, I've got some pretty, uh, some pretty good troops. Lots of archers. Archers is uh, very overpowered in this game. Very overpowered. And yeah, I've been making a fair bit of money. My, my money went from maybe like 600 to 800 almost a day to now 200 since I like, updated. So that's a that's a little annoying. I kind of want to go back to the other update where the model's working and I was making more money. Um, but there are some cool bug fixes and features added into the last one, so we're just gonna roll with it, whatever. So next part of this quest is to talk to two people. One is this dude, this fine looking fella. And you basically just gotta bullshit to both of them saying, yeah, 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 I'll support the battalions. Yeah, 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 I'll support the empire, lol. Alright, I have the dragon. Yes, I too will see the empire destroyed. <laughs> yep. See ya, mate. Sweet, so once you say, yep, yeah, so once you absolutely lie to their face, or you don't lie to their face, depending on what you want to do. You then go to a hideout, because for some reason this hideout has the banner. Fair enough. Even though it's just like an ordinary hideout. But, um, yeah. I remember the first time I did this quest, it literally took me about well, like three attempts, I think. It was that hard. And now I'm just... Now I'm not even... I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do a thing. It's great. Alright, I might as well fight this guy. Easy. Aha, see? I did something, guys. Look at my cool looking archers. Why is this guy so much taller than the others? <laughs> and we should have a piece of the banner. Cool, now I have to go to the Empire side and do the same thing. So this one talks. And it, I remember the first time I did this, it it would creep me out. So I'm going to skip the dialogue again because the way she talks is really... F I know, it was so unexpected to suddenly have an NPC talk to you. Um, so I will be skipping that again. Um, anyway, let's talk to her. Stop talking! No, 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 no. All right, job done. All right, let's go and take take the hideout. I think I, I don't know, how about we make this a challenge and we don't take our best troops? Because to be fair, back in the day, we didn't have the choice, or I should say the luxury of picking who could join us for this um, hideout attacks. Um, I did get a comment saying, what, you know, it's dumb how you can't just take your whole army, but the point of this, it is an ambush. You meant to use stealth. If you rush your whole army in, they're just gonna run away. So it's, and it's kind of pointless. So yeah, you kind of just pick a few men, keep it quiet. Also, it's a game mechanic, so it's meant to be challenging. So let's get let's get rid of all my archers. I will add my companions because my companions get a lot of XP from this, um, which is great. Um, maybe let's pick some of my infantry. Oh, my, my one infantryman. Uh, let's go with a Sturgeon soldier, and maybe we will just add. These two. I got one more. Crap. Let's add a lower archer, a lower tier archer. Nice, perfect. And here we go. I do prefer these. Uh, th this ambush at map. I think there's the 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 mountain bandit camp. Before we're doing the forest bandit. This one is quite fun. It's a great location. It actually feels more like a hideout instead of just like some random patch of grass in the middle of a forest. There's a very interesting lighting going on here. It's meant to be nighttime, but there's just this... I think that might be a bug. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be like there's just this one ray of light coming from somewhere. I don't... Yeah. There's no moon as well, but oh well. Seems to be little to no bandits in these camps anymore, which is great. I remember there would be like 50. The Sea Raider ones were actually really fun. I think out of all, out of all the, the hideouts, the Sea Raider one was the most fun. 
and most challenging and looked pretty cool as well. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nah, screw it. <laughs> I don't fight Jules. Easy. We did win. Nice. Captain Obvious. Oh, look at that. We have an upgrade. Look at that. Perfect. See? It's all worth it. Alright, so shortly after doing that last hideout attack, we have now gone to the next uh, clan size. So, now we can, so we can now have 70 troops, and I believe we can get another companion, and I think I can get one of my companions back from earlier. Um, let's go to the tavern. Just, is he still, oh, hi, he's still here. Watch him cost way more. Because I've given him a bunch of gear now, and so I got rid of him because he didn't have anything work good for trading. Because if you remember the last episode, I made him my my caravan master, and uh, oh, you prick. <sighs> All right, five grand it is. So only because I was making so much money, and I geared up all my companions. <laughs> so now that I, because I want him back, and he was actually a pretty good companion, uh, to be fair. He has some pretty decent skills. Um, yeah, I gave him some gear, and now he costs five grand. Fuck. So yeah, I, I did it. I did actually end up uh, putting him to the side to get this woman because she has good roguery skills and trade skills. Well, the best that I could find anyway, which was making me more money for trade. So that's why I got her instead. So now if we go and talk to Istania, is that how you say her name? You can say, "Look, I've got all the pieces. Now what?" And she'd be like, "Yo, you're you're pretty cool." I'd say, how do I create my own faction? And she tells me how. You've got to be independent. You've got to be awesome. You've got to have a big army and all that lovely stuff. And then, yeah, thank you for your precious help. Thank you. Nice house. Cool. Now, if we go check our quests, we have two options. So we can support an Imperial faction, which I've done before, and it's pretty boring. Uh, or you can create an Imperial faction, which I think sounds pretty fun. Um, and it's quite challenging. I actually have a goal now. So I'm going to reach it to Clan Tier 4, which I'm only at 2. So that's so that shouldn't be too hard. Get a hundred troops, which might be difficult because we're now making minus two hundred and ninety-seven. Literally a week ago, in game, I should say, like like a week ago in game, I was making plus like six hundred to eight hundred a day, and now caravans just make no fucking money. I don't understand. And I have two workshops which are making absolutely nothing as well. So that's cool. So I've been busy, as you can tell. Um, I wasn't making much money, and I thought it was about time that we became a mercenary. So I became a mercenary for all three of the Empire factions a few times, just depending which one was uh, best suited for me. We fought the the Kursates, or whatever they're called, and um, yeah. And now I've actually joined, uh, I think, what, are we 
Western Empire. We have the Western Empire. And yeah, um, the reason I joined the Western Empire is because this castle was re had a really small, small garrison. And I attacked it by myself and we managed to take it. And now it's mine. The only problem is now is that we're now mi we're actually losing more money than we did before. We're now minus 1600. Um, most of it is from my party and the garrison. And both the villages have got taken out pretty early on. So yeah, rough. But we have a lot of money and this is basically from all of the loot and the prisons that we've been getting through our fights. This guy just... What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, well. Let's take out this cheeky bastard and uh, we'll have a good one. Alright, yeah, look at it. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Nice open play map. So I, I didn't show you every fight. I showed you a few highlights of some of the fights I had, which are pretty cool. Are they actually really charging? Mad. They're mad. Uh, I can turn uh, I can turn casualties on again. It's just so I know what's happening. Alright, let's see how archers do some work for once. Come on, archers. See what you're made of. I tell you, an archer army is fan bloody tastic. I tell you that. And the battle's over. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I've been doing. Loads of fights. Been doing it off camera, obviously, just chilling out. And uh, yeah, I think it's going pretty well so far. Um, so next stage is sort of is sort of deciding if you want to stay with the Western Empire, because I just don't see myself making my own faction anytime soon so but yeah I am enjoying the late game content the fights have been fun we've had no crashes it's been great and uh, yeah I can't complain really so checking out my castle and going to manage castle doesn't look too good um, so we're losing prosperity loyalty is minus one because our villages uh, were looted so that's a minus two uh, food, I don't know if you can actually even get food, because from uh, from back in the day, food just wasn't existent. You couldn't get food for any castle settlement, no matter how much food you put in. So I don't know how that works. Um, oh, I can add money. Because if I can boost maybe the gardens, which can... Fruit trees and vegetables, gardens outside the walls provide food along... There we go, cool. But we're minus 12 food, so I don't know if that's going to make any difference at all. So yeah. That's that. Um, I put my brother in because he is at he has a empire heritage, so that should give me some kind of loyalty bonus. Uh, culture, I guess. Oh no, governor's culture plus one. Brilliant. So there you go. Um, so that's that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. I have been playing quite a lot. This took a long time to um, sort of prepare. Uh, oh no, no, they took my they took my favorite city. So I think I'm just gonna just um, keep uh, playing for a bit. Uh, we seem to be. Getting our asses whooped, which is hilarious. Uh, Batania, uh, yeah, they're they're really doing. Uh, they're really being mean to us. I just, I think the I think the main reason we're losing is because our main army seems to be elsewhere because our strength is as good as theirs, and it seems pretty even. But um, yeah, Batania, bastards. But we we are at war with two people. I mean, two factions, so that doesn't help. And Batanians are only at war with us. But um, anyway. I'm going to call it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, do let me know. And um, do that whole subscribe thing. And gee, like. We like, we like likes. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.